Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 9 e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about products by categories. So let's see how can we show products by category. First of all, on shop page, uh, let's display here all categories. Okay. So for that, uh, go to the shop component class file. So just go inside the app directory, then HTTP, live wire, and then open this one, shop component.php file. And now inside the uh, the surrender method let's fetch here uh, all categories so after this just write here categories categories is equal to model name category category okay and also import here the model like this okay and then column column order by order by name category name okay and pass here the order ascending asc and then get okay now let's uh, pass this categories to the view so just copy and inside this array just uh, write here single quote categories arrow dollar categories okay now save this file now go to the Sub component view file. So just go inside the resources directory, views, live wire, and let's open this one sub component play.php file. And inside this file, uh, let's find the category list. And you can see here this is the category list. Okay. So inside this evil tag, and before this first li tag, just write here for each at the rate for each and then categories as uh, category okay and now just uh, cut this first li and paste inside this for each okay and just remove this remaining li okay remove the space and now for displaying here the category, just add here double curly bracket, then category arrow name. Okay, now save this file and let's check. So just uh, refresh the page and you can see here the category's name. Okay. Now let's create a new live wire component for the displaying all products uh, according to this uh, this category. Okay, so go to the command prompt and uh, stop the running application. And now uh, let's create the new live wire component. So right here, PHP artisan make colon live wire space component name. Uh, let's say component name is category component. Uh, component okay php artisan make call live wire category component okay now hit enter component created now run the application all right Okay, now switch to the project and uh, let's open the category component uh, class file. So, uh, from app directory, HTTP, live wire, and uh, let's open this one category component. Okay, now, now from uh, sub component class file, uh, let's copy all the text from here and uh, paste inside this category component class file okay so just select all and paste now change here the class name so let's write here the category category component okay and also change here the view name so just write here category dash component okay now save this file 
now go to the sub component view file and uh, from here let's copy all the text copy and uh, go to the category component view file uh, this one and just select all and paste okay all right now save this file now let's create the route for this category component so go to the web.php file just go inside the routes directory and open web.php file and here uh, let's create a new route so right here a route colon colon get and add here the uri which is product dash category okay and uh, pass one parameter here which is category slug so, simply right here slug okay and then pass here the component class name which is the category component colon colon class okay now give the route name name is equal to product dot category okay now save this now let's copy this route theme and uh, go to the sub component view file and uh, inside this category list okay there is the category list inside this for each uh, let's add here href is equal to double curly bracket then route and paste here the route name which is product dot category okay and then pass here the category slug so just pass here comma and then big bracket slug arrow dollar category arrow slug okay now let's copy this line and uh, paste inside this category component view file okay so just uh, paste inside this for each okay save both file okay now go to the category component class file and here let's create one property public dollar slug okay and uh, uh, now create one function lifecycle hook method okay so right here public function and lifecycle hook method which is mount and inside this just pass here the slug okay and inside this function just write here dollar this arrow slug is equal to dollar slug all right now inside this render method uh, let's pass here add here where condition so after this product column column where category underscore id is equal to uh, first of all inside this render method let's fetch here the category according to the slug okay so dollar category is equal to category okay then colon colon where slug is equal to dollar this arrow slug okay then call here the first method first and now dollar category id category underscore id is equal to dollar category arrow id and let's get the category name so right here category underscore name is equal to 
dollar category arrow name okay now let's copy this category id and inside this where just pass here dollar category id okay now let's copy this and paste inside this statement also and here okay and here also all right now let's pass this category name category name uh, to the view file so copy this and inside this just add here single quote category name arrow dollar category name okay now save this file all right now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and refresh the page all right now let's click on any category so i'm just going to click this one this category And you can see here the product from this category okay you can see here the you can also show here the uh, category name so for that go to the category component view file and uh, inside this let's display here the category name so after this uh, we found uh, items for you from and just print here the category name okay dollar category underscore name all right and also add here the b tag so cut this b tag okay now save this and just refresh the page you can see here we found three items for uh, for you from this category okay so let's change the color uh, so just add here the class this one okay and also add here a strong tag okay strong and class this one and also change here strong and just add here the this category okay now save this and uh, refresh the page all right and now uh, let's click another on any ca uh, another category so i'm just going to click this one okay so in this way you can so products by categories so that's all about products by category so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching